This news update is brought to you by. Grab somebody and tell them hello. This is the Barbados Today Afternoon News Update for Wednesday, July 22nd. Thank you for joining us. I am Mary Claire Williams. Finance Minister Chris Sinclair is weighing in on the ongoing impasse between the National Union of Public Workers and the Barbados Investment and Development Corporation. The dispute is now headed to the law courts as seven of the ten employees who were dismissed are now suing the BIDC for damages and costs. It comes one week after a meeting of the subcommittee of the Social Partnership agreed that the matter would not be referred to the court. In an interview with Editor-in-Chief Kemar Jordan, Sinclair said he is hoping for a fair and reasonable solution to the dispute. The BIDC matter has, you know, it's, it's gone it's, it's, as far as it, high as it could have gone. The uh, Prime Minister has commented on it. The social partnership, subcommittee social partnership met with the parties. It's gone to, you know, the chief labor officer, the minister of labor chain, and the subcommittee, uh, you know. So it has attracted a fair amount of national attention and, and, and that of the government as well. So, um, you know, I, I hope is that uh, parties will work um, assiduously at arriving at the best solution that will give a win-win for uh, all parties involved, right? you know, all the stakeholders involved. But then that's the uh, eventual uh, outcome that everybody uh, would like. How do you uh, see this resolving itself, Minister? How do you see this, this strike with NEPW and BIDC? How do you see this resolving itself? Well, it's, 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 I, I can't say, I can't predict how it will resolve itself. I can't predict that it will resolve itself. I think, you know, all reasonable and interested parties will sit down and they will come to a fair uh, uh, conclusion after an assessment of all of the all of the facts and as should happen in these circumstances. So it's, it's difficult to say, but, um, you know, uh, I think they know what challenges face the organization. They know what rights the workers um, have and, and what laws exist to govern the employment relations of, of, of workers at the IDC and, and the process and the system. And if everybody respects the uh, process, the conventions, the, 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 the rules and the laws, then I think a uh, fair and reasonable discourse can lead to a uh, fair and reasonable uh, resolution. Minister of Housing and Lands Dennis Kelman says transportation by boat around the island is a viable alternative to the road traffic backup commuters face daily. He told the National Consultation on Housing and Sustainable Development that setting up the infrastructure for such transportation would not be harmful to the environment as concepts such as floating jetties could be used. Kelman also pointed out there would be no need to import vessels as Barbados has many available boats. In terms of the first system, I'm very glad that you have raised that because it's something that we are looking at, but that's not necessarily only the ferries. Because if you look around Bridgetown, you can see many boats that can be used as transportation. I'm a person that believes in using what you have first and then expanding. And the concept now of the floating jetties is something that we cannot ignore because it will allow us to put a pattern on the environment to be and so on, to be able to have floating jetties across Barbados, which will make your travel more accessible and will accommodate a lot of the small boats. Because instead of going and bringing other investments, we first have to utilize what we have to do Barbados. Police are seeking the public's help in locating a missing man, 18-year-old Devon Prescott of Fair Valley Christ Church. He is about 5 feet 5 inches tall with a dark complexion and of slim build. Police say he left home about 9 o'clock yesterday morning to go fishing on the sea rocks of Paragon Christ Church. At the time, he was wearing brown short pants and a purple shirt. He was also carrying a haversack and he speaks with a Barbadian accent. Police are asking anyone with information concerning the whereabouts of Devon Prescott to call the emergency number 211 or the nearest police station. A 61-year-old man died on Black Rock Main Road this morning 
Police spokesman David Welch says Ian Walters was driving in the direction of Eagle Hall when his car swerved and went off the road, stopping in a lay-by. Police and ambulance were called and he was pronounced dead on the scene. Police say they are treating the death as a natural. It has been one month since Tiffany Hunt lost her partner of five years, Sean Jordan, to murder, and she says she's yet to accept it. In an interview with Barbados Today, the Vineyard St. Philip mother said although she was happy the culprit has been caught, she's yet to accept that Jordan is gone. Jordan, formerly of Gemswick St. Philip, was gunned down on June 6 at Waverley Road in Christchurch. Police have since formally arrested and charged one person in connection with the killing. I, I mean, I wake up every day and it's just fresh in my mind that like it just happened. Like I'm just trying to wrap my mind around him not being here. I just can't understand how you, how he could be. I could be with him in the morning and then in the time there's no more Sean. Like having him in my life for the last 16 years and then he's just not here anymore. I just, I just can't get it understand at all. There's regional and international news after this short break. Our valued partners for the BT Cropover Superstar Competition, Flo, Banks, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Izumi Media, and Liberty Store. From the region, two United Nations health organizations are calling on Caribbean governments to implement measures to curb the consumption of alcohol after a new study found it is higher in the Americas than average in the rest of the world. The Pan American Health Organization and the World Health Organization say rates of heavy episodic drinking have risen in the past five years from 4.6% to 13% among women and, seven, and from 17.9% to 29.4% among men. They said alcohol contributed to more than 300,000 deaths in the region, with more than 80,000 of those involving deaths that would not have occurred had alcohol not been consumed. In international news, the Greek parliament is set to vote on a set of reforms which need to be passed before they can go ahead with a second bailout. If the changes are approved, Greece will be able to start negotiations for an 86 billion euro bailout from its creditors. The vote is expected to pass but Greece's public sector union is planning to protest against the measures. This is the second set of reforms that the Greek government must pass in order to qualify for its bailout with the creditors, the European Commission, the IMF and the European Central Bank. The measures that the parliament will discuss include a reform of the banking system here, so that in the case of, the fa of a failed bank, it is shareholders and creditors who take a hit, but also an overhaul of Greece's notoriously slow judicial system. The more contentious legislation, like phasing out early retirement and raising taxes for farmers, will be pushed back to negotiations with creditors later on in August. Now, the reforms are likely to pass through Parliament, mainly because of support from the opposition parties, but it's expected that there will be a rebellion of sorts within the coalition. Last week, when the first batch of reforms were passed, over 30 of the Prime Minister's own MPs refused to back the measures. He's hoping that the mutiny will be smaller this time, mainly because the reforms are more structural 
uh, reforms than austerity, but also he'll hope that the protests planned for later on today do not descend into the kind of violent scenes that we saw last week. And that's the afternoon update. We'll be back this evening. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper or email updates and like us on Facebook. You can catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Line TV or Mix 96.9 FM. I am Marie Claire Williams. Good afternoon. Our valued partners for the BT Cropover Superstar Competition, Flo, Banks, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Izumi Media and Liberty Store.